night guys good morning we're out here in lafayette georgia this morning it's sunday beautiful morning i mean so far it's too dark to really tell how beautiful it is to be honest with you but uh, we're actually competing in a bass tournament today we're gonna do a little bit of fishing just to just pedal around i mean why not it's a reason to get out of the house uh, well, we've got some warm weather here the last few days it's been up in the 70s so we got water temperature right under 60 degrees um now this lake is shallow real shallow so we're gonna have to try a few different things we got a bunch of bunch of different types of tackle to try we got some plastic some crankbaits rattle traps you name it but y'all hang with us stay tuned we're gonna see if we can end up weighing in a bag or not we're gonna try to anyhow hang with us all right guys we're out here we've been fishing for a few minutes we're still trying to learn what they're biting on it seems to be a pretty quiet morning so far That's the move right there. That's what's going to catch a big one this morning, folks. Fresh hour. Oh. That was a bite too. I felt that thump. Make sure my little dude's still. You ready for this? All right, oh, Mr. Armor here's got our first one of the day, folks. Here he comes. There he goes. Oh, that's, oh my Jesus. That's big, dude. Jesus, dude. Look at that. Guys, oh God. God. That's my biggest piece ever right there. Let me uh, get in. Let me move my stuff off of the line well. I'm pretty sure that was a fish that just broke me off. All right. If you take a look right there at his foot, you'll see those Gary... Yamamoto Senko worms there and that's what he caught that nice fish off of uh, he had a Texas rig with a size 2 alt wide gap worm hook about a I can't even can't even remember what size sinker weight or bullet weight he was using there uh, it wasn't very big we was trying to fish with as little weight as we could just to kind of keep it a small presentation there but I just wanted to kind of stop this and let you know what he caught it on. Let me make you picture real quick. Oh, yeah. Here, let's do it for my phone. I got a good camera. All right. oh, you want my, thumbnail? My knees are shaking. Hold it out toward the camera a little bit. I'll do one just like this. Oh, like this? Yeah. Now hold them out. Get him in that live one. Alright, now shut it off if you would. It's that stop back there. Good job. Good work, man. Good work. Yeah. Alright. Oh my god. Let's get on another one. Dude. That's a pig, dude. Oh my god. I gotta turn this camera around on my face for the video. I never caught a bass that big in my life. Though. You want him? We ought to mount him. I might get him mounted. A little tail. 
Texas rig, black and blue. That's it right up there at the end of that little brush pile. Well, brush pile of the tree, about half in the water. Oh. Let's see if we can get some more. <laughs> Look at me shaking. Oh my god. This is crazy. He choked it, dude. Four more like that, we'll be taking home some money. Bro. Look at me right now. <laughs> How much do you think that fish weighs? Five. Or six. Oh, Easily five. You still there? Yeah. Oh my god. I am. Oh. I just caught the biggest fish I've ever caught, man. Really? Yeah. Send me a picture. I will when Brandon sends it to me. I'll send it to you. Brandon will send it to you. Okay. Oh. Whenever me and Madison get off this phone call, I'm gonna call Dad. My whole body is shaking, babe. I can't even stand still. That was a good fish, dude. Folks, I just reeled in one on a on a blue Cinco. I just had missed this fish. He ain't the biggest in the world, but he'll weigh. Now on this lake, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's 12, but we're gonna measure him just to be sure. Now y'all on this lake here, They've got to be 12 inches. Oh yeah, that's a that's a 15 inch fish. 15 inch. Yep. Add it to it. Say that again. A little slimy handshake. Never hurt nobody. All right, folks. We're over here, a different spot now. Just using the same old tactics. Right now we're, I've got me a brush hog. What do you got? Just a black and blue Senko. Brush hog and a Senko. We're gonna try our look and see if there's anything over here near this structure. All right, y'all. We got the boat back on the trailer. We uh, watching everybody now. They're they're pulling in their boats now. It was a it was a hard day fishing, guys. It really was. But it did not look like it was only hard for us. It appears that everybody else had just as much difficulty as we did. But we had a lot of fun. We're still going to participate in the weigh-in. Um, just to see how it turns out. So y'all hang with us. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, they did the weigh in. Uh, I want to say 15 pounds took the tournament. Uh, big fish ended up weighing 510. Um, now ours, if it would have lived, would have been big fish. It weighed seven, six, but 
Uh, the rules on this tournament is you big fish can't be dead. So that's just what goes sometimes. But I still had a good day. I want to appreciate y'all for being out here with us. I had a lot of fun. It was a hard day of fishing, but it's still fun nonetheless. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you like the content, drop us a like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next one. Uh, this coming weekend, we'll be heading back down to South Georgia to the hunting club. Going to do some turkey hunting. Opening weekend turkey season next weekend. So y'all hang with us. We'll see y'all on the next one. Goodbye. I got my head out this sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only